Hey guys, it's TTL back with another video for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at Borderlands 3 performance and an optimization guide as well. You see the system specs there before, and we're running everything at this present moment in time in 1080 in badass settings. So you can see that we're running the 5700 on the left and the 2060 Super on the right. Now, I do know that there are a lot of you that are going to moan about the fact that it's the 5700 versus the 2060 Super. So there you go, you get the 5700 XT in there now as well. Now, if you're wondering, if you're thinking, oh yeah, it's a little bit too squidged up with three on the screen, there you go, you've just got the two on there now. Now, uh, obviously this does give us a good basis around the 2060 Super and the two 5700 cards from uh, AMD. But in just a little moment, you are going to get the 2070 S pop-up. And as if by magic, there it goes. But don't worry, just like before, you're going to get these three so that you get a little bit of side-by-side -side play for a little bit. Then it's going to spread out again. And you're, there you go, you're going to get the uh, two there just so that you can see a little bit more of what's going on. But don't forget, this is in Badass at 1080p. So the frames second are quite healthy at the moment. It's not a particularly well optimized game. A lot of people are going to whinge about this, but we have got it in the badass setting. And if you do knock it down to high, it will play much better. But just as the 2080 Super gets added in, yes, this isn't really fair to be comparing it to the 5700 XT. There's a lot of price difference going on there, but it's just so that you get a feel for the performance across the board with the two main headers going in there from AMD and NVIDIA. Now, 2080 Ti, badass 4K. It runs worse than you'd think. So we've gone from 1080p to 4K. This is something we do need to stress at this point. So far, you've only seen normal HD. Now we're in full uh, Insanity 4K mode. And you can see it does make even a 2080 Ti at this resolution in badass. It's taxing the card. It is working really, really hard. But we found a couple of really interesting things that you can turn off and it makes a lot of difference. So when you go back into the options of the game, the first thing we would turn from ultra down to high is the material complexity. That makes a fairly big change in itself. But then with the volumetric fog, if you go from ultra down to medium and then go back in, you'll see that suddenly we've gone from 40 odd frames a second to a healthy 60-ish frames per second, sometimes dipping down into the 50s. But what's going to happen is we're going to come down this little ravine, it's going to drop down, go underneath the building again. And where we paused the uh, place before, there you go, you can now see the old versus the new. So you can see that there's probably a healthy at least 15 frames per second in this. But if you have a look, you can't really see any difference in the gameplay. If you do see any stutters, this is something that we're working through with our, our capturing. We don't know whether it's a GPU driver or something, but the stutters aren't there in the gameplay. It's actually the, the capture side of things that's making it doing it. So if you are watching this back and you're seeing those stutters, that's nothing to do with the, um, the changes that we've made. But you can see at the top the optimized versus the normal ones there. If you'd like to see more of this, you can click through to the main review on the OC3D website. We have a lot more graphics cards there, loads more stuff going on, visual comparisons and everything like that. So please do click through if you're interested to see uh, more on Borderlands 3.